What's up, guys? I'm Chris Doughty, a.k.a. Data. I tried race B. I couldn't do it. I qualified last. I finished last. I don't think that would make a good video. So I switched back to race C, St. Croix, um, and I wanted to improve my qualifying time. So we're going to go now, now. There's not much time left. I'm going to go into this right hand and just go wide. It's not going to work out. Retry. I've got one more go. Will I make it around the lap? Now, I've got three minutes eight on the clock. I've not even started my lap yet. Um, and this is going to be a one-shot deal. I've, I've really got to focus. I've really got to hit all my apexes and really just do it as best I can. Uh, into turn one, we are going to get on the brakes. We're going to run the lap as best we can. Uh, we're in the Nissan GTR, so we know what that means. Use the swaz, Luke. Let go. What a strong. Absolutely, and we did use the swaz to our advantage. We're on a good lap now, but we're running out of time. Look at the time waiting to go matchmaking. Now we are in the please wait phase, and we're running to the line now. Are we going to make it? The clock is ticking down. I know I'm on a free improvement, but will we get across the line? And it's going to be a three minutes five point zero. But did I made that? I definitely made that. I definitely made that. You guys all saw that, but we. That's not going to count. We're not going to get credited with our new time. So we're going to start in 14th position. Straight onto the race now. And a lot happens in this race. A lot of controversial moments. Some great battling. And let me know what you think of these in the comments below. Uh, there's a lot to talk about. I'm really interested to hear your feedback. Uh, so we're going to start in 14th position. Uh, it is a straight up race on the racing hard tyres all the way through. Uh, no need for pit stop. No need for any mandatory tyres. Uh, and it's Danny Cat who's in front of us again and he was, he was quite compliant before so I'm going to get in the slipstream now trying to clear the guy behind I think I can make a move into this second corner here so we're going to get on the brakes as late as we can um, he is on the outside so we're going to try and give him space you know side by side through there a little bit of swaz for me on the corner exit and we do get that move done so actually guys also let me know in the comments below after this video how many times do we get swaz how many times do other drivers get swaz? It, there's a lot going on in this video. Uh, but I'm under attack from Horndog SA. We're going to slip down the inside here. Uh, Jag Tony. Is that Jag Tony head? It is. And I've, I've just given him a little bump on the rear quarter. Um, we've had... Oh, we, I've kicked off there. I've, we've hit the wall slightly. Um, and we're going to lose touch with everybody on the bridge. Look at the mini map now. It is like seen off of Star Wars. And we've... We've lost out massively. We might as well have been in reverse gear during that uh, bridge section. So um, it doesn't really matter what qualifying time I set because I'm, I'm just basically in reverse gear. Oh, someone has lost the car there. Gary uh, Farmer, it looks like he's made a massive mistake there. Uh, it's getting very busy now into the hairpin. On the corner exit, swaz from the driver ahead. We're going to go three wide, four wide now, coming into the kink. I'm going to back off. I, I think much better of that. Um, but I'm actually just losing places hand over fist here and we've, we've shuffled right back down the aura again. I think I'm probably driving a bit too kind right now. Um, yeah, we, we did put a move on Jag Tony. I, I really didn't want to go for that move, but just the way that I've lost another position. What's going on? It, I, I must be running on engine management mode or something. But yeah, we're going to start to improve our aggression and start fighting the driver's head now is oh, Gary Farmer to the inside is three cars in one corner absolutely fantastic move there from uh, Gary Farmer uh, is I, I honestly I cannot believe what's going on in this race guys there's so much action um and I think I just need to get the elbows out and get involved um we've got the Spanish driver ahead now with a penalty um he's going to feature a bit later in this video we have a great battle with him a uh, huge shout out to him um, and yeah, we also have Jag Tony in the race. Uh, we've had previous with him before. Um, and yeah, things are going to kick off. We're going to run a bit wide on corner exit. A bit too much swaz there from ourselves. Now, what I've really learned uh, from driving this Nissan GTR is that you want um, secret swaz. It's where you get on the throttle mid corner and the car starts to move, but it doesn't move so much where you have to get an opposite lock to correct it like that. Just right now, that was too much, too aggressive on the throttle. The best way to be is just to make the car just slide a little bit, but not enough to have to uh, correct it with opposite lock. That is the fastest way around this track. Um, and that is not quite the way I drive a lot of these corners. We do get too much swaz. We actually have to get an opposite lock to save the car. So, uh, that was perfect just right there you see that just uh, releasing the steering a little bit let the car rotate naturally um, that was a great exit off that corner there for ourselves 
Uh, we have Horn Dog uh, behind us, South African driver. He's a good driver. We've raced him many times before, and he's always very fair when we race with him. Um, but we are looking to close into back of the British driver in the RCZ ahead. We are going to have a power advantage being in the Nissan GTR, but that RCZ is always great around the corners. Uh, I haven't tried anything other than the GTR this week. I do need to get around to trying something, but uh, running out of time this week, probably. Um, so yeah, we're going to go through this very long left-hander. It's mostly flat. Um, if you get the right line, you have to lift a little bit if you're slightly offline. Just ring right to the edge of the track. That's nicely done. And trying to square off this braking zone to get on the brakes as efficiently as possible. And then just a clip clip over this uh, this bridge and corner exit here. Looks like the driver's a little bit compromised on corner exit ahead. We've got a great drive out this corner. And we're in the slipstream. In We've got a faster car as well. I don't think he has a slipstream from the car ahead. We're going to go to the inside now. We're going to get side by side in the braking zone. I'm going to try and brake uh, late and go deep so I can basically get to the outside uh, which gives me the inside for the next corner and we're doing exactly what we need to do here just to defend uh, this position now uh, we've got a few corners we need to defend and then we'll try and uh, make the break for the uh, the drivers ahead a little bit of swaz on corner exit but not too much opposite lock needed so that's a great drive out the corner from ourselves um, try and get a good exit through this kink and we do uh, we've lost the driver behind so that should leave us uh, clear to race forwards gary farmer ahead um, danny cat is also ahead as well how has he got back in front of me? It must have been in the chaotic bridge section where we just lost so many positions. Um, so we've got a long way to fight back in this race. Um, and also, I don't know if you noticed in the uh, the pre-race lobby, there's a lot of fast drivers in here. A lot of them starting from the back with no qualifying time. And um, yeah, a lot of big names in here. We've got uh, Mew Mew, a uh, very fast driver. There's also uh, Fusa who's out in the lead right now. Uh, another great driver. We've seen a lot of the other streamers' uh, content. Um, but I think we are starting to close into the back of Gary Farmer. Uh, it looks like Jag Tony's now in the mix. Yeah, Jag Tony's one ahead of us now. Was that a penalty for Jag Tony? Maybe it was. Um, but next in line is our old friend Jag Tony. I'm going to credit him with some of my uh, YouTube success because that was quite a successful video for me, with, for me where it was uh, me versus Jag Tony. Um, but obviously, Jag Tony looks like it's got a Twitch channel, so feel, feel free to go and check him out on Twitch. Um, I might go and check that out after I've uh, made this video. It might be quite interesting to see if he streamed this race, perhaps. Um, but we are closing into the back of Jag Tony and the, all the cars ahead. So we have got pace now. Um, we are starting to get it together for the race pace. Um, I've got to say, I still don't feel quite comfortable uh, with this combo or even with this car. Jag Tony is going to go to the inside of Gary Farmer. It's going to run him a little bit deep. Gary Farmer's going to lose it on the curb, and that's one down. Um, whether that was due to the contact or or maybe just a bit aggressive on the throttle certainly some overswaz there for uh, gary farmer and that's going to leave us clear to to close into the back of jag tony he's in 14th position we are running the 15th lap number three now uh, so about a third of the distance through the race and we are making our way forwards i don't even know where i started where did i start um, i think a lot of the fast drivers from the back have probably passed um so i'm probably behind where i started but about where i should be maybe um, but as always, we are setting our sights to the, to the front and aiming to race forward in this race. So Jag Tony is going to come under threat from us very soon. Uh, we do have the Nissan GTR. We have a huge power advantage, and we're going to get on the brakes and close in through this uh, chicane section before the bridge. Um, he will have a slipstream from cars ahead. Swaz on the corner exit, avoiding the wall on the outside of the bridge. And is this going to be a repeat of what happened the last time? RCZ versus. GTR into the braking zone. We're going to offset our braking zone and we're going to get on the brakes. We're going to brake a little bit early, really. Uh, no way to dive down there. Uh, but Jag Tony is closing into cars ahead and there's also, it looks like a penalty for uh, the finish driver further ahead there. So things are starting to come back to us. We need to get a good corner exit out the hairpin there. That was great. Keeping that swaz under control. Um, and we're going to look to close in, get a good exit from this kink. That's also a very important. Um, and it looks like we do. We get a great exit, in fact. Uh, I want to get to the inside here, but there's, there's no way he's covered that one off. We're going to the outside this time. Um, and the next corner is a long, sweeping, breaking corner to the left. And we're on the right-hand side. So a little bit of contact there. Uh, Jag Tony wants that wide line for that corner entry. Um, and we have a car behind us for company. 
uh, another Spanish driver. We're in a Spanish sandwich right now, um, on the brakes now, and we are trying to let it, the car flow through this corner, get the, on the power as much as we can. And yeah, it looks like Jack Tony's leaving the door open. Do we gonna throw it down the inside? I think about it, but I get on the brakes a bit safely and try and avoid that send there. Uh, there is a driver serving a penalty ahead. How's this one going to play out? Uh, Jag Tony to the inside and he's going to get on the brakes and put a move on the finish driver. Small bit of contact at the apex, but I think that's all good. He had that corner for himself. So we've got a finish driver ahead of us now. That is our next target. Uh, actually in the GTR as well. So it's a like for like battle. Um, and the Spanish driver behind us has got good pace. He's closed us in. Um, and honestly, it's, it's going to be a great battle between us as we progress forwards. Uh, finished driver now is going to get... Oh, he's got a slightly better corner exit than we did. We tried to uh, square the corner off a bit too much. We're going to have the uh, Spanish driver to the outside of us. And after looking at his back, I think I ran him a little bit off the road. He did hit the grass a bit. And I think as I get a massive overswaz on the corner exit, we catch that one. Yeah, I think I ran the Spanish driver a little bit wide. I didn't know he had the overlap. Um, so sorry about that it wasn't my intention I didn't know you're quite alongside um, but I think he survived that one and he's going to get back in our slipstream and try and progress forwards with us uh, we're going to try and now to catch back up with that finished driver we lost a lot of time on that corner exit while we go about catching the finished driver again uh, if you are enjoying this video hit that like button consider subscribing if you haven't already make sure you hit that bell icon to get notifications whenever we upload a new video and also if you want to check out the race asylum discord in the link below um, it's where we talk about gt sport help you get faster in gt sport and there's some very very exciting stuff happening with race asylum on september the 4th uh, check out the race asylum discord for all the information you need to know about that and we are just closing into the back of the finish driver now we've got a great run through that chicane are we going to get alongside him into this braking zone again we're in the slipstream over the bridge and we're just looking back we're under a threat from the driver behind as well so we need to make this move now or perhaps never we're going to get on the brakes and we sent it from a long way back and that is contact at the apex that is not a good move from me i've got to say um just do now to the outside of us and the finish driver is going to send it back down the inside so that was a forceful move from the finish driver but quite frankly i think that's one for one um i think the score is all even there i don't have a problem with that move at all i, I sent it down the inside after the bridge i didn't really intend to but that that front to rear uh, quarter contact i really hate that and i did exactly what i hate people doing to me so no problem all good for me um, but just Dio there, um, good to see him out on the track. He has a YouTube channel, he streams a lot, so make sure you go and uh, check him out. Um, every time we've seen him on the track, he's always been great fair racing. So we have the uh, Spanish driver to the inside of us now. Uh, we are getting held up a little bit by the Finnish driver, and the Spanish driver's backed out of that one. Uh, the Spanish driver, keep looking in the top right-hand side for the TV cam replay, and also check the radar. The Spanish driver is looming very large in our mirrors, and he's going to get a switch back on his and do the move to us that I wanted to do to Jag Tony, but we're gonna get the switch back on the corner exit, bit of swaz control there, wide from the uh, Spanish driver, and we're gonna get the drive into the next corner. Is it gonna be enough to get it? Is he gonna get it back on the brakes? He's gone to the inside now, we're gonna give space on the inside. Uh, he's gonna give us space on the outside, actually fantastic stuff from this Spanish driver. We're still two by two round here, and he's gonna get us done on the corner exit. That was a fantastic bit of racing from that Spanish driver. Uh, huge respect, huge shout out, space given where it's due. I did think about sending it, but I tried to back out here. I don't want to be touching anyone's rear quarter. That's uh, unforgivable, a uh, rear quarter contact in my opinion. Um, but he's going to get that move done. I'm really just wrestling with that swaz. Um, so yeah, he's got that move done. That was a fantastic bit of driving. Huge shout out to that Spanish driver. Um, and what we're going to do now, he's got good pace. So we're going to try and latch on, get the tow rope on and let him drag us along. And we can try and get through when... He makes the passes on the drivers ahead. Uh, we had a good corner exit from the final corner. And uh, Danny Cat down is slow down the main straight again. We're going to have to make this move work into turn one. And we just about get that done. Uh, yes, Danny Cat was slow down the straight there for some reason. Uh, important to clear him as soon as we can. And we've got that move done. Still following our Spanish friend through the pack. He's gone to the inside of the finish driver into turn two. Um, is he going to make that work? He's going to make that work. Are we going to be able to follow him through? Which not quite enough. We didn't have, we weren't quite close enough to follow him through there. And we've got the finished driver now for 
the next person we need to make a move on. Just trying to work out where I can make this move. And without, and, oh, finished off, binned it. Danny cat to the inside, a completely unexpected series of events there. Um, I was focused on the finish driver. Danny Katz snuck down the inside and he just, what a fantastic move. I've got to say, um, I thought I'd be running clear of that by now, but we're going to get a great drive off of the corner, over the bridge again. Once more, we're going to go to the inside. We're going to get on the brakes very late and make that move happen. And then to the inside of us, we get done and run a little bit wide. MB30, absolutely wild on corner exit. That's going to really put us back a little bit. Uh, just Dio now to the inside. He's made a, a nice little move there. Um, but I think he's, he's backed off there. I, I don't know if maybe you thought that was a little bit too aggressive. Um, great driver, just Dio. I've, I've seen some nice acts of kindness from him before. And um, we want to be racing forward. So I actually got on the hazards here. I wanted just Dio to, to give me a bit of assistance. We want to be racing forwards. And he complies very nicely. Nice little bump draft from just Dio down. Uh, the main straight there just to give us uh, a bit of assistance so i think that's worthy go and check out just dio on youtube he streams um he helps me with some free speed down the straight so um good good to see him out there on the track but our sights are firmly ahead now mb30 a very very fast driver from the back of the grid um i think was involved in some chaos early on so he's fighting back um and again danny cat we know we've got pace on him we just need to get there and make it happen oh super swaz there from us on the corner exit i'm not even sure how we held that one um i kept my foot in saved it with steering only which well, i should have maybe backed off I? anyway we did survive that and we're slightly wide again really trying to catch the car on top of the curb but we just need to close into back of danny cat it, we should have pace on him we just need to find a place to make that move happen um, and we just need to maybe just dial back the driving a little bit maybe we're driving a little overdriving the car somewhat um, and I think overdriving the car en ends up being slower so we need to get a good exit from here just try and minimize the swaz and just, just about catch that one again a bit too much the perfect exit is where you bring the steering to kind of neutral and just let the car rotate with throttle uh, we're going to fake it to the inside here we never thought about a move but hopefully try and distract him on the corner entry which should give us a great corner exit and he's oh, sparks off the barrier we're gonna get, get that move done which is going to leave us into 14th position i feel like i've passed hundreds of cars but not really made any progress this race uh i think i started in about 13th or 14th so i mean it's it's it's, it's been a great race guys i've really enjoyed driving it let me know in the comments below what you think of any of the moves that have happened so far and obviously continue to watch and there'll be more moves as we get towards the end of the video i've also got to say that for a track i don't particularly enjoy i know i'm not particularly fast at i've enjoyed this week's racing and i think i've enjoyed it because i'm using cockpit view it's it's a challenge things are happening um i'm racing basically in the in the lower half of the field but i'm really enjoying it, it and it's strange that next week's races haven't been announced yet normally by friday um the next week's races have been announced and we can, can prepare for those but i've not heard anything for next week's races uh what do you think next races are going to be for next week is it going to be race c is it going to be a group four or are we going to be in the super formula cars with a group x race for race c uh next week uh, either way i think it'll be a fun combination hopefully there'll be some uh, pit stop strategy and tire changes uh, that'll be ideal for us to go racing with it always adds an element of, uh, of fun there so uh, looking ahead now mb30 with contact uh, the french driver uh, mb30 just sent it off the track there um, maybe some previous between him and the french driver um, but we're going to get that position that, that that's all good with me uh, now we're looking to close in the back of a french driver now we have raced him before in other races uh, and it's been some great races actually but before we can do that we need to close in a 1.1 second gap i feel like i've got pace i feel like i'm driving pretty good um a little bit wide there but we get away with it on the brakes now into the left hander uh, getting on the power as early as i can and just controlling that car just, that's a nice little exit there uh, we are are we closing in i don't know that the time isn't changing a great deal um that is quite a nice corner from me great corner exit just the right amount swaz on corner exit and that should be uh, a fantastic corner exit but i don't think i'm gaining hopefully he's going to battle with drivers ahead they are going to go side by side and it's going to be jag tony that's going to get run wide this time 
it's kicking off once again uh, Jag Tony involved and we're with dirt on his tyres so maybe he's going to be vulnerable but we're in the gravel as well so we just about keep it out the barrier um, this one's going to be oh it's the last lap it, this race has gone so fast guys uh, we are in the last lap of the race both with dirty tyres over swaz there from us uh, we have got the speed advantage on the RCZ we're going to get on the power as early as we can trying to catch that car um, and then we're going to Oh, we're in the slipstream now. We're going to close in. It's the final corner of the race. Yellow flags ahead. We're going to look to the inside. Just fake him out a little bit. Oh, just, is that a little bit of contact? I'm not sure. Um, but he's going to run very wide. We're going to sneak to the outside. And we're going to get pinned against the wall on the runs of the line. And Jag Tony's going to block us off and, and take that 12th position. Um, there you go, guys. Let me know what you think of, of that race in the comments below. I, I, I don't know what to say. There wasn't a moment of that race where I, it's unbelievable. Normally, I, I clip and edit it out, but I was constantly talking through that video. And we got to lap number six before we knew it. I, I didn't even know there was two corners to go. And yeah, we finished in 13th position. We do gain a position on where we started. Uh, but I do think I've made about 400 overtakes during that video. If you have enjoyed the video, hit that like button, consider subscribing, and we'll catch you in the next one.